Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. Today I have a 2011 Jeep Liberty powered by a 3.7 liter V6 engine. In this video I will talk about uh, the firing order of the cylinders and I will show you which cylinder is uh, which number actually. Uh, this video should pretty much apply to all Jeeps powered by a 3.7 liter V6 engine. Okay, so here is the engine and the cylinders are numbered uh, first on the driver's side, one, three, five. So the closest one to the radiator is cylinder number one and the farthest one and the closest one to the firewall is cylinder number five. So one, three, five. On the passenger side, it's the same thing. It goes two, four, six. So the closest one to the radiator is cylinder number two and the closest one to the firewall is cylinder number six. Okay, and the cylinder firing order on these engines goes like one, six, five, four, three, two. You don't have to remember all this. I will also write down all this information in the video description as well. So you can just see it there and copy it and use it if you need to. And the last thing, these engines also have only three coil packs. So one here, one here and one here. So one coil pack for two cylinders. Okay, so I hope this video helped you at least a bit. I decided to record it just because it took me some time to find this information because I have to replace one of the coil packs. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, please like it and consider subscribing and joining my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.